talk about days 8 through 14 on the carnivore diet. Uh, it's been 14 days. It's crazy. It's been a lot of ups and downs, and today I'm feeling pretty good. To start, day 8, 9, and 10, they were pretty okay days. They weren't special or anything. They, they just happened, and I stuck with it. Continued to lose weight. On days 11 and 12, I had to work, and I work in a restaurant, so that is Valentine's Day. The day before Valentine's Day, I worked about 12 and a half hours doing prep. I stuck to the diet pretty well and felt okay. I was exhausted, but I think that was just from the constant moving and working. And then that Friday was Valentine's Day. I worked a 13 hour day that day. I was already really tired just from working the day before. So this was just even more accentuated. I uh, remember waking up and just not wanting to move feet were dead already. None of this is chalked up to the carnivore diet, but it leads into it. That day I had some bacon and some ribeye in pieces that were left over at the restaurant. And I noticed it hit me weird. I, I felt kind of sick directly after eating it, but I kind of ignored it and just, just played it off and just kept going. Uh, finally took a break around three o'clock and felt pretty bad. I don't know what it was it could have been literally anything at this point but i think it was just the need to rest combined with a lot of fatty meat that just hit me all at the same time and i felt like i was going to throw up for the first couple hours of being back at work i tried all the other things that i've tried before to mitigate the issue like the bone broth and just salt water and you know just stuff like that and it didn't really seem to help especially whenever I got home to take the break. And when it finally passed, it had been three or four hours and I had forgotten to bring my steaks with me to the restaurant to cook up so I can have something to eat. It was a hectic night already, but whenever the hunger hit me, it hit me really hard. Um, so I was looking for anything just to, to calm it down. So I was just, I was eating cheese and ranch dressing and just crap just absolute crap and it kind of devolved from there and I ended up eating some chocolate which we had these little chocolates to give out for dinner service just for the guests i only had one but it was enough to make me feel guilty so it's towards the end of the night and i finally have some food i believe i had a hamburger patty and then people were over ordering on their tickets so i had a couple of dishes that were just sitting there so um, I picked off a lot of chicken and shrimp off of overmade dishes um, towards the end of the night. And that, that helped tide it over a little bit. But then after that, I decided I deserved a congratulations to the team and myself. So we went to the bar afterwards and we got really, really drunk. Um, I had a lot of wine. I tried to stick with just vodka and soda water, but I just it didn't really I didn't really want it. And the only thing that sounded good at the time was beer. And the only compromise I could make of myself was some white wine, which I knew then was a terrible decision, especially for how long I've been doing this already. But I didn't realize that until the next day. The next day I was just severely hungover. I felt awful, had some had heart palpitations, exhausted, felt like I was gonna fall asleep every five seconds. Nothing wanted to go down well. I ate, but nothing was appealing. I, need, I knew I needed something on my stomach, otherwise I probably would have just thrown up water all day. I got electrolytes first thing in the morning. I drank a little uh, bone broth and eventually had my first meal, which was like pork skins. And throughout the whole day, I didn't steer outside of the diet at all. I just wasn't proud of it because a lot of the things were like snacky type foods like pork skins and I had a diet soda, which I haven't really had. I've only had one diet soda within the past 12 days at this point, and it was that one. And it was pretty gross, but I needed something to comfort me. But as far as that day went, it just felt like a waste, and I felt guilty most of the day, which is a problem in and of itself, but that's just how it was. I, I, can't, I couldn't control it that day, but the next day on Sunday, I was able to calm down just look forward and keep going. So Sunday was a pretty solid day. I ate normally. I had steak and burger patties and all the stuff I've been eating for the past two weeks. But after Friday night, I just need to be more aware of 
how I congratulate myself, or at least the severity at which I do that. Anyways, the, the second seven days were, they were fine. Like I said, I had ups and downs the whole time. But I think that's going to be true through this entire 30 days. So I learned a lot of lessons, and I hope you get something out of this. If you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe to the channel. I'll be on Instagram as usual, and see you all in the next one.